cometh the hour, cometh the man. Well, two men to be exact. One of them is named Dennis Nidgeland. The other is Ted... No, it's not Ted Hesp. He's a knobhead. He's not even in the subspench at the moment. The other man is named Thomas Butlicker. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 46, I think, of The Journeyman. And we're, we bounce back. We're playing all right. We're coming into the last four games of the season and Dortmund have dropped points. <laughs> a lot, uh, quite a lot has changed, actually. I'll show you the games. Look at this. Playing beautiful football um, after our heroic victory over Liverpool. So we played Kaiserslautern, beat them 4-0. Scott Welsh, Butlicker with a brace. Nidgeland with a goal. Then we beat Grutherfuther 5-2. Butlicker with a brace. Nidgeland with a brace. Scott Welsh with the fifth. Then we beat Gladbach. Nidgeland with a four-goal spree. Hat-trick in 31 minutes. Lovely. We then beat Leverkusen 4-1. Scott Welsh with a brace. Butlicker with a brace. And then we beat Leipzig 2-1. Sven and Renato Sanchez with a 90th-minute bullet. To take the win over RBL. Very, very happy. Let's have a look at the league table. We are now one point behind Dortmund going into the last four games. If we look at their results, they had a bit of a hangover from the Champions League. So they lost against 2-0 against Porto, meaning they got knocked out of the Champions League. And then lost against Hamburg 2-1. Bloody marvellous. But then, unfortunately, they did win their all their other games, including a win against Bayern which is a bit gutting. I didn't realise the Schalke game was in the cup. But, you know, they're through to the cup finals. So hopefully that'll put them off. They've still got... They're awful. They're awful. <sighs> Leverkusen. Leverkusen is our great hope of some sort of points. I can't believe this has come down to this. If we look last year, the winner of the league had 79 points. With four games left, I'm on 79 points. And I'm still a point behind. We've already got a record points tally for a season. Record number of wins, 26. It's ridiculous. We've lost one more than them. They've got the draw. Our goal difference is one behind. It's, I can't believe it's coming down to this. We're Bayern. We're like 18 points ahead of Bayern Munich. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. Oh, I can't believe it's coming down to this. Big changes. After, obviously, the big change rotational stuff we did in the Liverpool game gave a few players a game. And I thought they played well enough to play against Kaiserslautern, a weakened team. They're not that good. And so we kept the partnership um, of Dimitrich, who'd got that goal. And then Patrick Hamon came back from injury and we we put him in, gave him a go. And he's been superb. And those guys, those two have played every all four games and been really solid. I'm not going to change it. Steve Brown, back from injury, always helpful. Um, the fullbacks are... Just rotated, really. All four fullbacks are just really good, so I just kind of rotate them in and out. Sven's come back in for Kippers. His form dropped off a little bit, um, and Sven has just got a bit more of a goal threat in him. Azapur has been uh, solid in the central midfield. Renato Sanchez is amazing. 7.86 in the last five. Two goals, five assists, 7.68 average rating. Absolutely sensational player. 17 key passes already. Scott Welsh is finding himself in a few goals. And then if you look at the top here, Butlicker and Nidgeland, both averaging over eight in the last couple of games. Nidgeland has 12 assists as well. Scarily good, those two together. As I said, Tess, Ted Hesp is the forgotten man. Like, it's 16 goals in 27. It's not exactly horrific, but just just not that good just disappointing um four games without a goal but like you know that happens our four games without a goal is not the worst thing in the world but also just the ratings if he doesn't score like a 5.8 is impressively bad right today my friends we are playing fortuna dusseldorf who are mid-table hopefully they're kind of done with their season and they've got nothing to play for so surely just let us get a win, please. I, I haven't. I think Dort, have Dortmund played? Then no, they haven't played, have they? Let's just let's just get our game done. Dortmund are playing Kaiserslautern in the late kickoff, so let's put the pressure on them with a good win here. Let's do it, Nidgeland and Butlicker. Please, for the love of all that's holy, <clears throat> just 
if we win all four games and we lose the league, then fair enough, right? There's not much more we could have done this season, really. It's been an exceptional season. I just don't want to drop points. I don't want to just gift them the league. If we can just hang on, keep the pressure on, there's always a chance they'll slip on, slip up even. Um, you know, they've got the big, they've got the Pokal Cup coming up soon. Um, oh, yeah, take double lunge there from Overgaard, taking two out, like it. You know, I want to put the pressure on, make them win it. They, they could happen. Leverkusen are going to save us, okay? That's what I've decided. Okay, I, I'm recording this at 6am. There's pigeons cooing, I don't know if you can hear that. Good morning, Pigeon. Okay, 16 minutes gone. Nothing's happened. Although they've not had a single shot. Wow, we're being beaten for possession. <gasps> okay, that's fixed. It's good. Right, here we go. Goal time. Goal time, people. Renato Sanchez is just becoming, quickly becoming my favourite footballer. He's just exceptional. Overgaard takes a touch. Tries to find the ball in. This could be... Jägerbomb comes away with it. This could... Overgaard's going to chase him down. That's a decent ball. Yeah, Patrick Hammond. I bought Patrick Hammond, you'll know, like, if you remember, it's like 17-odd million, I think, for um, from Dortmund. More of a sort of hot prospect than anything else. Ah, oh, Sven just drifts past his man. Lovely, but, ah, oh, it's beautiful stuff. Nijlan cuts in, smashes it, and again, good save. Jesus. Uh, we bought Amon, and, you know, he's not played that much this season. He's only played, he's played the last four. Before then, I think he played three or four games the entire season. Go on, Scott Welsh. Go on, Nij. Go on, Nij. Turn and shoot. Turn and shoot. And that's Paul. Let me finish my point. Fucking arses. Um And in the January transfer window, right at the end of the transfer window, Dortmund tried to buy him back for 21 million. He's barely played a game. Why did you sell him? Like, what suddenly changed your mind? He's not played, so you can't tell if he's playing really well for us, then you think we'll buy him back. It made no sense whatsoever. But I turned it down, laughed in their faces, as you do. Okay. That's not gone as planned, has it? Um... I'm going to say they've been unlucky. We've had the chances. Unlucky, boys. Let, let's go attacking. Come out of the second half. It looks like they're just playing for the draw. They're shalking us, I think is the new term. That's a lovely ball out. Renato Sanchez is just sexy. I wonder if he's got 200 caps yet. I haven't checked. Will I remember after this game to check how many caps he's got? Come on. Come on. This can't be... No, this can't be it. This can't be what happens. We've been scoring for fun. They've barely had a bloody ch chance. I mean, nothing's happening, people. I'm getting panicky. I don't want to bring off the two strikers because they've been in such sensational form. Antwi for Scott Welsh is a good shout. Both have been playing well. Um, Centre-back's looking very nervous. Yeah, maybe we... we go for that. Could we go for a cheeky triple sub? Mahmoud's coming on for other guard. Come on, boys. 20 minutes left. We cannot drop points. We cannot drop any points. Otherwise, it's. I feel like it's as good as over. I suppose that would still make us a win away. Come on! Just something. Give us something. Game, please, please. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Two minutes left. I can't believe it. I can't believe we've not scored a goal. We've done everything, but... Oh, that is... I've got to go angry. Oh, man. Okay, so... It's still with. It's still possible because uh, you know our goal difference is very close. It could just be a win. You know they only need to lose one game. Let's hope it's today. Oh, I can't believe goal difference could come down to it at this point. Let's have a look at the result in the Dortmund game. They lo they won two 0 They just they just beating teams. Three goals. It's doable because if they lost, let's just let's just like play on. Werder Bremen. Let's do it. Oh, shit, I forgot. Wait, 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 wait. I, I remembered. Ish. Kind of. Just in time. Renato Sanchez. Has he got 200 cap? Oh, he's not being called up. Is he retired from international football? You can't retire from international football on 198 caps. It doesn't look like he's just... He's not getting games, man. <sighs> 
Okay, on to the next game. Well, there's been a bit of ba- <laughs> bit of bad news, my friends, and that is that Dortmund have already played and they won and they won five nil, which means goal difference has got a bit scary bad now. Who is it against? Grufa Fufa, 5 0. Then a man sent off at half time. That is really bad news now, because that, unless we win all our games 4 0, the remaining three games 4 0, and they need to lose against Leverkusen. Oh, no, that's just bad. Paslak is injured as well. He's out for the rest of the season, a few weeks, but it's as good as over. Not gonna change not gonna change the big guys up front. They've been doing very, very well. Right. Okay. Werder Bremen. I think they're in tenth in the league, he says confidently. No. Thirteenth. Home to Werder Bremen. Just get this done. Just get this done. Yeah, professional manner. Rather unavailable, yeah. The four one playing very defensively. Let's just get it done, okay? Oh god, I'm not I'm not I think we'll win this game, but I think it's over. I think not only are we hope it will Welshie with a free kick. Oh it's top bins get in there, Welshie. Beautiful free kick, sir. Loving that. Settle the nerves. Anybody else playing today? Uh, Bayern are doing really well in the Champions League. They just beat Man City 1-0 in the semi-final first leg. And Liverpool beat CSKA Moscow 3-0 in the first leg. So we could have a Liverpool-Bayern final. Come on. let's. I don't want to gift it to them. I really don't want to gift it to them. I want to make them fight and make sure they have to win every single game. All right. Sven. Through to Nijland, it gets beaten off the ball. Unusual for him. That's a good defensive header, though. To Welshie. On to Sven. Go on, Svenny. Go on, Sven. Ah, oh, that's that's just poor Sven. As a poor wins it back, as he always does. Lovely ball through to Yao. Can he find one of the strikers? Can you find one of the strikers? Welsh, what about you? Okay, back to Yao's turn. No, Welsh. Okay, there we go. Butt liquor. Oh. Yeah. Let's get it done. Six minutes gone. Let's not, let's not worry about it. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be good. <clears throat> we need to score five. Five would... I'd be... Four... I, I, four I'd be happy with a 4 nil win. Okay. <laughs> Let's go attacking. We need goals. It's not just about wins anymore. It's wins and goals. Yeah, with it though. Plotted to the near post. Come on. Ah, that's a decent ball in. Surely... Oh, Welsh again! Come on! 2 0. Genius by Welsh. 2 0 after 8 minutes. This could be a 20 0 game. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> That's pressure. If you want to put pressure on Dortmund, destroy their goal difference and go, yeah, we just won 20 0, mate. So good luck with that. Oh, look at that. Top bins. He likes that bit there, doesn't he? The Welsh corner, we'll call it. Okay. Sanchez with a great tackle. The old man doing the business. Lovely ball from Sven to Overgaard. Back to Sven. Threads it through to Butlicker. Looking for the overlap. There's Yao, the right back. Oh, everybody's getting involved. Oh, Gooba, that's our goalkeeper. <laughs> I forgot that. Cheers, Gooba. Come on, Goobs. Come on, Goobs. Let it in. This really shouldn't be allowed. You shouldn't be allowed to play against your own team. Go on, Welshy. <gasps> what a... Bullshit. That was a 16-minute hat-trick. <sighs> Dimitrich. Yow. Here goes Sven. To Welsh. Welsh! Yes! Welsh! There's the hat-trick! It's a fucking home goal. Come on. Give the fucking kid a hat-trick. Jesus Christ. What more can he do? Let's have a look. How off... Yeah, that's quite off target. It's 3-0 though, boys. 20 minutes gone. It's 3-0. We're fighting for this. It's not over. So the fat lady sings. I can't believe he's not scored a hat trick though. Nidgeland offside. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. An own goal. 
All right, come on. Let's get another one for half time. Come on. Don't rest on your laurels. Don't care if it's all with 3 0 up, you know, just drift about. No. Need goals. We need a nice 6 0 here. Actually, 8 would be good. <laughs> Is it being too greedy? Oh, God. Plays it across. Lovely ball across and Nidland is there. There's number four. If we beat them on goal difference, it would be my greatest achievement to come back and do this. And I've got bloody beard hair up, you know. Easy finish for Nidland. Cheers, Duba. Well done, mate. Spies in the ranks, you see. It's clever. Right, come on. Two more and we close the gap. and The goal difference gap. I've never cared about goal difference so much in my life. <sighs> okay, I'm going to say something like... You might be winning. That could still change your performance levels. Well. Don't let that happen. Yes, focus. This is it. Come on, we want another four. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Cheeky little spin from Sven. And then they're just a dreadful... He made himself dizzy and made a really bad pass. Come on, attack! Attack, 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 attack! Come on. We need a, We need more than four. I'm going to be annoyed if we don't score another one at least. Come on. Oh, and I think they're getting a bit complacent. I feel like the team's getting a bit complacent. What about if you bring somebody on that's hungry? That maybe hasn't had as much game time. You know, that's looking for a goal. Somebody like Quicksilver. I don't go and score now, though, mate. Come on. Okay, it's good. Well done. Right, Quicksilver for Butlicker. Um, other guy can come off. He's getting a bit knackered. Plus, he's on a yellow card. Come on, Quicksilver, mate. I don't want to go overload. That'd be that. That's crazy. Come on. Let's go for a push forward team talk. Push forward. Nidgeland. Come on. Here's number five. Eventually. Dimitrich. Sanchez. Cheeky volley to Mahmood. Fires it across. Surely Welsh. There's the fucking... Who disallow that, you bitches. Go on, try it. No, you can't. Can't think of anything. He's got his hat trick. Fully deserved that the young Scottish kid... Almost got in the young Welshman. That would just be confusing. Come on. There's number five. We've equaled Dortmund. Now we need just, you know, one more just to close the gap. Come on, just give us one more. Uh, I'll take it. Wait, 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 wait. Go on. Quick, 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 quick. Oh. Okay, we've matched Dortmund. It still means I think we're one behind on goal difference. <laughs> Oh, three behind, three behind. We needed that, Jesus. It still means it's doable because if they lose their last game, let's say by one goal, you know, we need three more. It's fine. It's all going to work out. I'm just, oh, we're playing Schalke. We're never going to score more than one goal, even if we win it. <clears throat> right. Let's praise his performance. Well done. Well done, man. There's an interesting, I was looking on the job, job front. Um, where was it? It's not on the very... It's not, like, definitely going to buy it. <laughs> that wasn't the one I was thinking of. Tottenham is a possible... I think Norwich are a good premiership side now. Norwich are a decent side now. I don't know, I just... Norwich feels like a small team. I know it's, you know, 18 years into the future, 16 years into the future... They've only got a little stadium. They are rich. I'm not sure that's enough. I want somebody that I'm a bit more interested into, but needs must. Tottenham is very doable. They had a shocking season a couple of seasons ago, 17th, then 6th last season, but they're 12th this season. He could easily get fired at the end of the season. Um, there's no other big English teams. Um, I don't think. Not really. Um, then on to the stables. Right, there we go, my friends. Please check back for tomorrow for <clears throat> the final ever episode. Whatever happens, the final ever episode of Wolfsburg. It's not the journeyman, we're carrying on. Don't panic. 
just Wolfsburg, our last game as Wolfsburg manager. I hope you'll join me for it then. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.